Hey guys, welcome back to Desperate Oak 48, where, uh, as promised in last week's Thunder Dragon deck profile, we have my Pendulum Magician uh, Endymion deck profile. Um, again, this is this is not uh, what I would consider a beta deck, however that is go what's going to be in the title. Uh, I would say this is more alpha stage, mainly because it's not... So it, it was at 40 cards, 15 card extra deck, 15 card side deck, but it wasn't consistent enough and there needed to be there were too many changes to make to it um so i decided to just kind of scrap it and rebuild uh it's currently at i think like 34 cards i believe um but yeah so this is a very incomplete deck and unlike i normally define a beta deck profile as one that is tournament legal and you can take it uh to locals and perform well uh, but the deck is not fully finished to your liking. Uh, however, because this deck, sorry about that, um, because this deck is not uh, tournament legal, uh, I, I would place this more in like alpha stage of it. But um, anyways, uh, let's just get into the deck and then I'll kind of talk about changes and such uh, as they come up. So uh, obviously, first off, we have three Mythical Beast, Master Cerberus. It's a good card. Um, if you know if you're building your own version i would suggest at least two of these um they can search out the jackal king and if you use this while you have a chronograph sorcerer in your hand you destroy this you know destroy it it's gone dead doesn't matter uh its effect in the pendulum zone is you place it in the pendulum zone destroy it search a mythical beast add it to your hand if you have chronograph sorcerer in your hand because a card was destroyed by a card effect you can special summon chronograph as well as a card from your hand. So this effect will go off, and then after the effect resolves, the card will have been destroyed. Chronograph Sorcerer's turn, it can special summon itself as well as the Jackal King that you just added to your hand. Uh, it's a really interesting uh, combo there and like interaction, and I really enjoy it, but I run three, I would suggest at the very least you run two. And then of course, because it's Endymion, three, Mighty Master of Magic, it's literally like the Thanos of the deck like it can uh, wipe boards as well as negate spells and traps like it's a really good card I would say to run three and no uh, no less but uh, I've seen people have varying successes with uh, just two in the deck but I would suggest three two reflection of endymion um this is uh this is a card that I heavily under um uh, I definitely underrated it first, but it's amazing. Uh, it's pendulum effect is you can remove three spell counters from it to special summon it and a spellcaster from your hand that you can place spell counters on, uh, which just means that you can use this to special summon any like mythical beast or endymion or magical abductor if you are ever in a weird pinch. Um, but you can special summon them and then on special summon, Reflection can target a monster you control or a card you control with spell counters and bounce it back to the hand, as well as bouncing a card your opponent controls back to the hand. Um, super useful card, you can run two, and it's hilarious if you have one in hand and one in the Pendulum Zone, you can use one to special summon the other and just get two bounces from that. Um, uh, super, super great card. Next up is three chronograph sorcerer as mentioned um this is a good card um if a card you control is destroyed you can special summon itself um so if you need to build a, if you need to build like a defensive deck like just a bunch of monsters in defense so your life points aren't damaged at all uh if any of them are destroyed you can bring him out and uh he'll just be another body on the board as well as again there is that uh master cerberus uh interaction as well as in the pendulum zone you can send him to the extra deck and he'll either special summon a time gazer magician or place time gazer in the pendulum zone uh, just an all-around useful card i would suggest at least two of them and uh, i would always play one uh for the time gazer magicians i would play one less than the amount of chronograph you're playing so i'm playing three chronographs so i have two time gazer magicians uh, if you're running two Chronograph, I would suggest one Time Gazer Magician, but uh, they're both pretty good and useful cards. And then three, Jackal King. Um, this is a monster negate, and it's a soft once per turn. So if you have 
two or three on the field. That's two or three monster negates as long as you can remove the spell counters. Um, also, it's a 2400 attack, and if need be, you can put this in the Pendulum Zone and destroy it to Special Summon Master Cerberus. Uh, super useful card. Um, I, I would suggest three in the deck. I honestly would not play any less. Uh, but you can do two. I've seen people who do two. It's kind of like up to you. Three Harmonizing Magician, two from Pendulum Evolution, one from whatever set that is. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, the mismatching rarities is just funny to me. Uh, I know some people will hate it. Uh, I'm sorry. But um, this is a tuner, um, as well as it can special summon out your Time Gazer Magician uh, or a Purple Poison. Uh, and use them to go into some of your synchros. Um, as well as in the Pendulum Zone, it can give your monsters an attack and defense boost. So it's just a good card. Um, I would play this at at least two. Uh, of course, I'm running three because uh, I kind of want to see it a bit more often. But, you know, kind of up to your discretion what you think is necessary for your deck. Next is three Magical Abductor. Um, honestly just a good searcher uh thinking about cutting this down to two just because you know at two uh you end up having her in your hand less however i personally don't have much of a problem with her ending up getting stuck in the pendulum zone um i actually find it super useful so um in the pendulum zone she can search any uh pendulum monster uh whatsoever which is just incredible as well as on the field she gains um just attack uh, for spell counters on her, and she can add a level one spellcaster monster to your hand, which is pretty useful if you need to get a uh, tuning magician in your hand, but all around super useful card as well as a low scale. Uh, Performer Pal Celestial Magician. This card is so ridiculously underrated. Um, uh, I don't know how awkward those cuts are, but um, there's some screeching going on outside of my house, and uh, I. I'm going to be trying to cut around it to make sure y'all don't hear it, um, but I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, like I was saying, either uh, while I was being uh, cut out or before I was uh, cut, uh, you know, whatever happens. Um, if there's a fusion synchro or Xyz monster special summon from the extra deck on the field and it gets uh, destroyed uh, by battle or an opponent specifically card effect, while this is in your pendulum zone, uh, you can special summon that monster and then destroy this card. So send this to the extra deck, special summon that monster back. Um, it, it's a pretty pretty awesome uh, interaction, and if the card is Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, when it's special summoned back, you can target the other card in your Pendulum Zone and special summon it, uh, which is just an inter interesting interaction that doesn't come up often, but is an option, technically. And then as a monster, if it's normal special summon, it gains different effects based on uh, what monsters you have on the field, so Fusion, Xyz, Synchro, uh, or Pendulum. So, all, honestly, such an amazing and useful card. Don't run three and don't run one. I highly suggest doing two, uh, mostly because you don't really want to see it in your uh, starting hand. Uh, you kind of want to see this uh, your uh, second or third turn. Um, honestly, this is an incredible card. I would not run anything other than two in this deck. Three Purple Poison Magician. Um, you know, scale one, which is amazing, as well as in the Pendulum Zone, it can give your Dark Spellcaster uh, monsters a boost. So Chronograph Sorcerer, um, Performer Pal, uh, Celestial Magician, Endymion, Mythical Beast Jackal King, Time Gazer Magician. Uh, it gives them an attack boost and then destroys itself. And then as its monster effect, uh, when it destroys itself, uh, because it was destroyed by a card effect, uh, its monster effect will trigger and it can destroy one face of card on the field. So, you know, if you're going into battle, attack over a high opponent's monster, uh, you know, use this for the attack boost, destroy it, and then pop another face of card on the field. Just an awesome uh, card to be running. Um, I would definitely say, you know, I would suggest three, two is perfectly fine. If you're planning on running one, I just wouldn't run it, but it's, you know, going to be up to the individual. Next is Magister of Endymion. Honestly, this just 
in the pendulum zone can special summon itself and one uh, face up extra deck monster that you can play spell counters on. Uh, that's why I run one. I don't find much use to it. Uh, honestly, like this is a late game card. You don't want to see this in your starting hand or even like your uh, like second or third turn. Like honestly, this is much more of a late game card. I would, like I just run one. <clears throat> and as a monster, um, as a, a quick effect on your opponent's turn, you can remove three spell counters uh, and special summon a monster from your deck that you can place a spell counter on. So you can quick effect to get out Jackal King, uh, Endymion, uh, Reflection if need be. So it's just a, a useful card, but um, a late game card. Two, Time Gazer Magician. Again, I run three Chrono Graphs, so I only run two of these. Uh, really, this is just to get out your uh, level seven Synchros or uh, Link Fodder for Selene or Moral Sword or just kind of anything. Um, yeah, you know, it's a good card. This plus Harmonizing Magician can make Meteor Burst, Arcanite, um, and then, you know, get out Tuna Magician since it's a level one, and then go into Crystal Wing or Borlo Savage. So it's just uh, a useful, uh, useful card. One Servant of Endymion, um, because it's limited, uh, I would be running like four if it were legal, but you know, uh, this is your Searcher of the deck. She's absolutely flawless. Um, as well as on your opponent's turn, she can quick effect, discard a card to place a spell counter on every card you control that you can place a spell counter on. So um, if you have this and Jackal King on the field, uh, but don't have the two spell counters for Jackal King, quick effect during your opponent's like standby phase, discard a card, place at least minimum two spell counters on the field in that instance, and all of a sudden Jackal King has what he needs to negate, to negate a monster effect. And then as far as monsters, I'm going to be adding two Tuning Magician to the deck. Uh, just another uh, Tuner monster as well as, um, it, you know, it's level one to help your level seven Synchros go into uh, the eight Synchros, uh, especially Crystal Wing. So, um, yeah. And then for spells, uh, I'm going to be adding three Allure of Darkness, one Upstart Goblin, one Into the Void, and one Duelist Alliance. Um... Uh, draw power, and then Duelist Alliance helps you search Star Pendulum Graph, uh, which is this, and it is a phenomenal card, but those are going to be some monster and spell changes I'm going to make to the deck. Um, here is Magical Citadel of Endymion. This is just another um, absolutely uh, phenomenal card. It's not the card you want to see in your starting hand. I would run two or three. Um, but it is definitely a card that is helpful. It can protect itself, it can remove spell counters to activate other monsters' effects, and it can hold its own spell counters. Um, just an incredible card, but uh, not something you really want to be starting your plays with, but it's, I guess it's flexible because you can start plays with it. Um, you can use it late game, so a uh, good card. I would suggest no more than two. Three, Spell Power Mastery, I, you have to run three of these. It searches Endymion cards, so, um, and then after it searches, it places spell counters. So, you know, if you play this, that is a minimum of two spell counters on the field. So if you, you know, play Abductor and then play this, that is at least two spell counters, one for its own effect to place one, and then another for after the effect resolves, it goes to the graveyard. And then if you already have one in the graveyard, and you activate one, you get to place two spell counters because this places spell counters based on the number of spell power mastery in your, uh, or spell power grasp, which you don't play. Uh, but this just uh, places one spell counter for every mastery in the graveyard or on the field. So if you have two in the graveyard and you play one, it just places three spell counters outright. Like this card is insane. Uh, run three, do yourself a favor. And then we have Two, Star Pendulum Graph. Um, this card, uh, your opponent cannot target spellcasters. You control with spell cards or effects, uh, which is really the big uh, thing here um, because you, spell cards are prevalent in the game and they are powerful. So having something that can stop your spellcasters from being prevented, from being uh, affected by them is nice. Um, so you run two of these and then the one Duelist Alliance to search it out. Um, and then its other effect, because it has more text in that, is if a face-up magician 
pendulum monster uh, leaves the field. So, you know, if, oh, where'd you go? Yeah, if purple poison leaves the field because of its own effect, you know, not it will pop a card and then star pendulum graph uh, can chain block that uh, to add another pendulum magician monster from your deck to your hand. So you can add harmonizing, you can add, not you, you, perform pal celestial magician, um, just an amazing card. Run two and one duelist alliance, or you can just run three star pendulum graph. Um, kind of up to you, but I, I would run uh, two and the one, but up to you. Uh, now we will go on to the extra deck. Okay, so um, cards I'm going to be adding to the extra deck. Um, uh, of course, one Borlode Savage, one Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, and one Crystron Halky Fibrax. Um, I don't think Halky Fibrax is going to be banned on the upcoming ban list. It's too new. Konami needs to sell product. Um, but, you know, I, I could be wrong. However, at this current point, I'm running one in the extra deck, so. Um, <clears throat> but currently the extra deck looks like Boral Sword Dragon, this is just in OTK, uh, nine times out of 10. So, you know. Boral Load Dragon, uh, again, if you've seen any of my other deck profiles, I mention it all the time, but if I run one, I run both. Um, th this one is a little more control, less OTK, but it causes uh, attack and defense uh, to lower as well as it can take an opponent's monster. So just a, a good card to be using. One Celine, um, this card is so absolutely redonkulously flawless. Uh, the spell counters it can gain are just like crazy, as well as it can special summon uh, more, um, yeah, more spellcasters. Um, so, uh, like, this is just phenomenal. This can bring out Endymion, Jackal King. Um, it's just absolutely insane, the membrane cards. So, 100% um, you need to play at least one. Uh, I've seen people playing uh, up to three. Um, I, I'm not, uh, mostly because I've only pulled one out of dual overloads. So, uh, but, you know, my, my extra deck is kind of packed uh, with stuff I need, so I only play one. But, the, like, this will be kind of up to you, so... One Nightmare Unicorn, like, uh, this card is, um, uh, I would say objectively the best Nightmare because it can return to the deck, um, and then 2200 attack isn't really anything to laugh at, but, uh, insane card, uh, you need to, I, I would heavily suggest running, uh, one of these in your extra deck. Nightmare Phoenix, uh, Spell and Trap removal, um, 1900 attack isn't really something to laugh at, but it, really it's just the um, Speller Trap removal. Nightmare Cerberus, um, I think this is a highly underrated Nightmare. Uh, it's still a good one, and people do still run it. Um, you know, with Master Rule 5 and monsters going to the uh, main monster zones now, um, you know, and this can destroy uh, special summoned monsters in the main monster zone. Um, you know, if you don't need to destroy your spell or trap and you can't make a link three um go into this destroy a um monster in the uh main monster zones uh 1600 attack though so uh but yeah i think it's an underrated nightmare um i i would say it's a good one if you need to cut one of these for an extra selene i you can cut this one um daybreaker the shining magical warrior Another one you can cut if you want more Selene's, but um, this is really just a win more card, as well as if you're building this uh, Endymion engine, you get three of them just in buying the three structure decks, which I suggest because, you know, they're all good cards and they give you a lot of cards to mix and match with the deck, so. Um, uh, but, you know, you will, in theory, already be in three. Um, it's a win more card as well as it can destroy. Uh, cards on the field by removing spell counters from itself or if you have citadel you can remove those spell counters from citadel but um uh it's it, it's a good but win more card odd eyes absolute dragon um this card uh negates attacks and special summons odd eyes from monsters from the graveyard um so if you if you have odd eyes meteor burst dragon as a material you detach it to negate an attack 
special summon Agai's Meteor Burst. Meteor Burst affects special summon from your Pendulum Zone. Um, again, just kind of like an interesting interaction there. Um, and then, yeah, uh, the instant, uh, the instant this, I don't know what I'm saying or how the English language works. The second this leaves the field, you special summon an Agai's from your deck. So, very useful card. <clears throat> Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, this is a game three card. Uh, if you're running late and you are able to get a harmonizing and you know like purple poison celestial, uh, go into this, uh, especially if you're going second in game three, go into this, um, burn your opponent for damage uh, and potentially uh, win from there depending on how much time you have left. Oddize Meteor Burst Dragon, we've talked about it a lot. It can special summon stuff from the Pendulum Zone. It's level seven to go into uh, Absolute. Just a, uh, uh, you know, a pretty good card. Arcanite Magician, um, really, I just love the, like, shininess of it. I, I can't remember where I got this, because I know I actually, to my knowledge, this just kind of randomly appeared uh, in my possession one day. Um, but it's a good card. This is another win more card, honestly. It can hold spell counters, it can remove to destroy. Uh, and it gains a thousand attack per spell counter on it, but um, I, I think it's a good card, you know. Uh, again, a win more card. Odd Eyes, Vortex, Dragon. This card is uh, negations, uh, so many negations, uh, once per turn negations, uh, but it's amazing, you know, after you have your fun with, not you, not you, after you have your fun with Absolute, uh, bring this out, um, so it, it, it's a good card. And now for the side deck. Yeah, so the side deck is very small right now, four cards. Uh, again, kind of why this is in the alpha stage, and I will be building it up more. But um, we have Spellbook of, Mas of the Master, Spellbook of Eternity, Black Fang Magician, and White Wing Magician. Um, honestly, right now the side deck is fairly up in the air. I'm running a big Spellbook slash other Pendulum pendulum magician uh in the side deck to kind of smoke screen my opponent a bit um <clears throat> it comes up occasionally um uh, but these are some of the cards uh more incoming at some point so when it's all completed and put together i'll have a better uh deck profile but level four tuner um uh, again can go into other um synchro plays um just a body on board and it can um, special summon dark spellcaster monsters from like, the graveyard. So if you have Endymion in the graveyard because you detached from Absolute and this is on the field, or if this card is destroyed, again, definitely not the best card. And if you're running it, run maximum of two. I would suggest one, but you know, again, all these are up to you. Eternity, return your banished spellbook cards, so uh, I would honestly run one with the build I have. And then Master, this is just to knowledge uh, a second time, or secrets again, so. That is my uh, Pendulum Magician Endymion deck. Uh, you know, again, when it's all said and done and finished, I'll be uh, back with a more completed deck profile. However, sorry, I keep knocking the camera. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, episode 10 of Build From Nothing is confirmed next week. As of the day this is uploading, I'm getting the last pieces of everything in tomorrow. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, uh, tell, me, tell me what's up. Uh, I'll see you all next time.